Okay, good morning, everybody. I'm so happy to meet you in this project. Uh, really, in this project, you will see the great value of TCCD in ICU daily practice. You will see how you can, in logic way and step-by-step -step approach to diagnose uh, as an ischemic stroke by TCCD very easy. A 70-year-old male patient known case of COPD, corpal monal, hypertension, diabetes, ischemic heart disease, complain of sudden onset of right side hemiplegia, disturbed conscious level. You face this patient in the ER while arranging for CT brain, bedside rabbit TCCD was done. You will see how by step-by-step -step approach and logic way, you can diagnose ischemic stroke very easy. Okay. Uh, this is, as you all of you know, the circle of wheels. Here is the uh, posterior circulation, basilar artery, and left posterior cerebral artery and right posterior cerebral artery at the end. And after that, in front is the anterior circulation. This is the terminal part of the internal carotid artery, intracranial part, will divide to middle cerebral artery and anterior cerebral artery in both sides, and this is the other side. The anterior cerebral artery will meet here in the, by, uh, with each other by anterior communicating artery, and the posterior circulation will be connected to the anterior circulation between uh, the, uh, through the connection between the anastomosis between the posterior cerebral artery and the internal carotid artery in front by posterior communicating artery. And by this, you will see the complete circle of wheels. Fortunately, you can see this complete circle of wheels by TCCD, but you will see it by not in uh, this position, coronal view, you will see it in uh, lateral view because by using temporal approach, you will go from the lateral side and you will see here uh, all circle of wheels, but in the lateral side, okay? You will go through this temporal approach from left side here. So you will see the midbrain first, butterfly midbrain. Uh, in front of the midbrain, you will see both posterior cerebral artery, and in front, you will see the anterior circulation very clearly. And as you see here, my probe is here. Uh, uh, in very good angle with the posterior cerebral artery, with middle cerebral artery, and with uh, anterior cerebral artery, so you will expect to see very good uh, view of circle of wheels. Okay. Okay. In our patient, our patient has sudden onset of right side hemiplegia. You will expect an occlusion in the uh, cer uh, anterior circulation in the left side. Okay. This is what I will see by the uh, TCCD, okay? I will go here from the right side. So here I'm on the right side. I will not start until I see this butterfly hypoechoic area, which is the mid brain, okay? Butterfly hypoechoic area, okay? Here, present in this area. And in front, I will expect you to see the posterior cerebral artery. So this is the right side posterior cerebral artery. And in front, I will see the anterior circulation. Anterior circulation here is the middle cerebral artery will go towards my probe in the right temporal here, and the anterior cerebral artery will go away from my probe. Here is the anterior right side, anterior cerebral, uh, uh, middle cerebral artery going toward, towards my probe in uh, red here, and this is the right side, anterior cerebral artery in blue away from my probe. And between the posterior circulation here and the anterior circulation on the right side, I will expect you to see the posterior communicating artery to connect this uh, circulation together. Okay. Very simply, very simply here, my probe on the right side, I will draw midline here in front, <coughs> in the center of the midbrain. I will draw midline here because here is the left temporal and here is the right temporal. I will see very simply a lot of flow here in the right side and no flow in the left side. That means there is arrested flow of the, in the left side with right side hemiplegia is going with ischemic stroke. This is the right side 
too much flow here in the right side, too much flow, and no flow in the left side. I will go from the left side, left temporal. I will see here the same. Right side, too much flow, and left side, no flow, especially in the anterior circulation. But I saw very clearly here the left side posterior cerebral artery and going to it, towards my probe here, the flow is going towards my probe in red, very clear. That means posterior circulation, the left side is not affected, but the problem is in the anterior circulation. Okay, this is, at this point, it is very clear that I have arrested flow in the, left, in the anterior circulation of the left side compared to the right side. What else I need to look for? Uh, what do you think the compensatory mechanism should be in this patient? The flow in the, this high flow in the right side is supposed to go to the left side. And the only way is through, uh, the simple way and the easy way is will be through the posterior cerebral artery between each other here to go from the right side to the left side. And I started to see the evidence of that because here is, my probe is here in the left temporal area. And here is the midbrain, butterfly, hypococcal area. This is the left side posterior cerebral artery. The flow is normal. It's red towards my probe. But do you see the flow here in the left posterior cerebral artery? It's supposed to be away from my probe to be in blue, but it is red. That means the flow is going towards from the right side towards the left side through the posterior communicating here. This is close view, another angle to the left side. You see very clearly the flow here is going from the right anterior circulation, going towards here posterior communicating artery to reach to the right posterior cerebral artery. And after that will go from the right posterior cerebral artery towards the left posterior cerebral artery. Both flow here is red towards my probe, which is not the normal and not expected. The expected you see, you expected to see the flow in the right posterior cerebral artery to be below and away from my probe, okay? You see another close view here. The flow all from the right side is going towards the left side to nourish the obstructed anterior circulation. And when I put the pulsed wave Doppler here, very clear, in the right posterior cerebral artery, the flow should be away from my probe and the blue is line, but there is too much flow towards my probe here because he need to, the flow needs to go from the right side towards the left side through the posterior cerebral artery. When we did CT, start hypodynasty here, evolving stroke, and you can see very clearly in the left side cord sign with obstructed middle cerebral artery here. You see up to this point. And even here I, I see maybe this the in all the internal carotid artery, all the internal carotid artery obstructed here, and this is the middle cerebral ortho in the sylvian fissure. I believe it's all the anterior circulation is obstructed here. Thank you a lot. I hope you enjoy this session.